guys and hey welcome guys. <laughs> back to my channel. So today we are doing this glam. So it's kind of a get ready with me, but I'm doing it all myself and Yami is following along. So if you guys want to see how all this magic happens and want to get the details on the look, please keep on watching. Hey friends, <laughs> take two. Take two. Uh, we, full transparency here. <laughs> We just tried to recreate a look and yes. it was an absolute fail. Yes, it was really bad. Um, when you're trying to recreate looks, especially if it's very complicated, if you are not watching the tutorial or actually taking your time, and it's it's harder because I'm like trying to teach me too, yeah. And um, you mess up easier, but it's, it's fine. Now I know what steps I did wrong. To never do that again. To never, if, if I want to recreate that look, I know not to do that certain step, you know? Yeah. So, but we're gonna do a very simple look today. What I like to stick to very simple neutral colors, which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. I wanna go like outside my box a little bit and use bright colors. But today, for a photo shoot, we're gonna do more of the natural look. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna Something show a little you. easier for me to follow. Yes, because, too, because the whole thing is I'm following her. I'm gonna try to recreate, because I know it's gonna come out. <coughs> I know hers is gonna come out good. Now, I'm gonna just try to recreate that because it's been a hot minute since I've like used heavy makeup and I wanna get back into it, you know, because I wanna feel like a woman again. And not to say that if you don't wear makeup, you're not a woman, but you know, you know what I mean. So, yeah. Yeah. That's it, um, right? We already moisturized our skin. We used yes. the uh, Tula Day and Night Hydrating Cream. I'm gonna use a little more. Okay. Um, and that's all we did. Oh, and then we also primed our face with the Max Strip Cream because uh, we wanted a very glowy, um, not too dewy, but a very glowy look to our skin today. So, you don't have to prime your skin if you don't want to. It's not gonna make anything. Primer does help keep your foundation on longer. I will say that, but you don't have to have it every single time you do your makeup in order for your makeup to look good. So, we are gonna start by priming our eyes with the Maybelline, um, I think this one's a Fit Me concealer. I really love this concealer. This is a drugstore concealer, and I use it all the time. I prefer this concealer on top of my lids because it allows my eyeshadows to just blend very nicely. So we are going to use that today. So just very lightly. What should I use? You can use this one. Is it not too light? No. Well, with, with your eyeshadow, it'll blend. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend that into my lid. Yeah, but see, you see, I'm just putting very, like, a light amount. I know, it, it came out too much. For this look, I want to stick to one palette and maybe um, just a, a glitter pigment for the inner center of my eye. So we're going to use the Morphe 350W, no, 350M palette. This palette is very, very beautiful. Um, thank you for bringing it, Yami. Yeah. You're welcome. I bought it, like, two years ago, and I haven't used it. I maybe she really has it. She used, it. she used like one color. Because there was a period in my life where all I was watching was makeup videos, and you guys know if you guys if you guys watch makeup videos, you see somebody with it, you're like, oh, I must I have it. But yes. then I never use it. Good. <laughs> okay. Got something in your eye. Thank you. I see. Thank you. So we're gonna take our blending brush, a fluffy <laughs> brush like this. Our transition color. So we're gonna take this peachy color right here at the end right here and just put it as our transition color right a little bit right above our crease okay above our crease yes okay i feel like i already messed this up let me see why does mine not look like that like what how much pigment did you use a lot you want to tr start very light and then work yourself up when you're using shadows especially like morphe shadows are so pigmented you want to make sure you start very light and then work yourself up to more color you need a little bit more into your crease right here. Blend like this. Okay. Okay? Okay. Blend like this. Close. Do I need more? Yes. Need more on this side. You need to put it more up to right here. That just scares me. Like right here? Yes. Like that? Let me see. Yes. Right there? Okay. Yes. Okay, on to the next color. We're gonna take this green. Ooh, I'm so excited about this green. This green, and we're gonna put it on the outside corner, okay? okay. And in the inside corner. Ooh, okay. okay. Same brush? Same brush. No, 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 no. No, 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 The, no, no, the no. thinner one here. Give you the fluffier one. Sorry. 
It's so pretty. Show me. Look how pretty okay. it is. You just want to put it right there and just kind of dab it in there. Like that? Yes. Dab it, dab it, dab it. Don't get it too much in the center because you want to put that glitter right there in the middle, okay? I don't think it's coming out on that. I just don't see the yellow or the green. Put more here. Put more right here. I got that peach color because I feel like you did not apply. You're too scared. You need to look. You need to stop being scared. You need to apply that there. You're gonna blend it out. Very good. Yes. Okay, let me see. Look at me. Very, very good. The same spot right there. Very good. Now you're gonna take the green and we're gonna put it right here, okay? Green into the inner corner of our eyes. Right here. And then it. And then it. Very good. Now switch, switch to the other eye. I did. Okay, you're good. <laughs> I was looking at this eye. I had no Close. Want uh, enough transition color to your um, to your. Do the other eye. You see how when you put the green, you only you didn't blend it up to your crease. You still yeah. need to blend it to the crease. Okay. Okay, and then you see how the peachy color and the transition color is all over your crease. This looks just like a bunch of ugly. No, once we put the <laughs> once we put the center color, it'll look it'll look fine. Yeah, yours is just not turning out green. No, it's not. It's like brown, right? Yeah. Like, it's not green at all compared to yours. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting. It's like very orange. Yeah, but it looks pretty. I like the orange. I'm gonna have to fix yours. Don't, I wanna fix them these, don't. Okay, hold on, I need to actually look at yours, hold on. All right, let's get questions from yours. Think funny story from high school. Think of anything embarrassing happening to me. I, I don't really get embarrassed easily. I'm just yeah, like, I don't either, but... Like, I when I was in high school, happened. my friends used to call me... Like, my friend. Like, they were real friends. They would call me Muff Diver. Muff Diver? Because of that? my last name. Oh, you don't know what that is? Yeah. Guys, look it up. <laughs> I'll tell you <laughs> off the camera. Muff Diver. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. It's when... Like, Muff means, like, your vagina. Uh-huh. It's like a lesbian term. Oh, okay. Like, you're Muff Diver. It's gross. So All your right. vagina's a muffin? Not a muffin, muff. Like your vagina hair. What's a muff? Like the muff, like the hair, like. No, I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Let me see. We're gonna take this MAC pigment little, MAC pigment little thing, whatever. This is the color tan. I love this color. I use it all the time, especially like with my bright, like brides or bridesmaids look or like a summery look. I love it because it's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna take that flat brush. We're gonna place it right in the center. Oh, that's really pretty. You see? All right, see you right I got you. And we're gonna get our greens again and just kind of blend that in. Put it a little bit on the top. Blend the inner corner. Or sparkles, you see? The blending. Up here a little bit and just blending that in. How's my look? Looks good. This is why I can never be a makeup guru. Like the area of my eye is a lot bigger than yours, so I feel like there's a lot to cover. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like this space compared to your space. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're covering your entire face. <laughs> I didn't do that the entire video. Very, very good. Okay. You know what I mean? Is you stop right here. You think that you need to stop. And you don't. Like this one you did good, but this one you stop, you just blend that out, girlfriend. You're gonna use Q-tips to clean that up, but if you don't blend it out, it's gonna look too 
hard. The line's gonna look too harsh. Mm -hmm. So you just wanna blend that out. Let me get a little bit more of the green. And blend. Ready Ooh. for eyeliner? Yeah. Okay, what eyeliner do you like to use? Are we doing wine? Are we doing liquid or are we doing <coughs> We're doing liquid. Yeah. Um, I've got the Tarte Sex Skin. Oh, I've never used that. Is it good? Yeah, you want to use it? Let's see. Okay. Let's see. I'm not going to do a winged eyeliner. Okay. Because um, you can do winged eyeliners, but winged eyeliners, like for me, for my eyes, it just makes them smaller. I already have like Asian eyes. So it kind of makes them even more small. So when I would do photo shoots, I like for my eyes to be big, especially like when it's sunny outside, because if not, my eyes are like this. <laughs> so I want them to be like this. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of eyeliner. I don't always use eyeliner, especially with these kind of looks. I like to keep them more simple, but I'm gonna use a little bit of eyeliner today. That looks good. I love this eyeliner. This is so. Good, I need I this in my life. I know. Right, wish me luck. Um, wait, but you never answered what your favorite phrase in Spanish was. Oh, my favorite phrase in Spanish? Mine's coño. I don't even know. But I feel like a, a, you have a lot more Mexican ones than like. Yeah, yeah, I don't say, we don't say coño. Hijo de la madre. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I don't know what <laughs> Little Gina, I'm not joking. Put <laughs> mascara on? Yes, ma'am. I put some mascara on already, off camera. And now I'm gonna put some lashes on. So you put all this on and then you do the foundation and everything? Yes, ma'am. That's crazy. Why is that crazy? I feel like I made. Actually, no, you're right. Oh, yeah. Let's, yeah, forget it. So my lashes that I like to use are the ones from Walgreens, especially like the deluxe ones, like the Eyler brands, the ones that have like, ones that are collabed with like a makeup artist. I love these, especially the ones that have like the Fox Mink, the ones that have the Wispies, stuff that makes my eyes look bigger. So um, yeah, I like to get mine from Walgreens or CVS when I do a lashes. Actually, I need to comb my lashes first. Do you have an eyelash color? I did not own one. Damn, how did you do that so flawlessly? To be honest, I was surprised too. That That's crazy. It was really good today. It was just like, boom. That was perfect. Some days it takes a lot more time. Did you put glue on both of them already? Yes, ma'am. Oh, so I should do the same thing, huh? Yes, ma'am. That way one of them is drying right. while you're applying the other. Because that's the easiest way. You want the glue to be tacky right. when you're already applying it to the your, your lash line. And then I like to go a little bit over it with my eyeliner. So just to make sure the line's very neat. I don't I don't even know how to even start doing this. Mm -hmm. Start with the inner in the middle and then go into the inner and then the outer. How do people do this? Okay. Alright, you did good. You just needed to pull it in a little bit more. Oh shit. 